Hi traders, Nathan Bray here from ACY Securities. Well, last night, it's official, Europe have joined the fight. They're in the fight as far as fighting inflation goes. Now remember, their inflation rate is up around 8.6% annual figure. And Christine Lagarde last night from the ECB, she came out and she said, listen, uh, I think there's going to be upward directory or upward pressure on food and energy prices and it's going to continue. So as a way of fighting this, they've decided finally, uh, after many, many years at negative interest rates, they've raised their rate 0.5 or 50 basis points in Europe. But keep in mind there's three different interest rates. So one was actually negative 50 basis points. So that deposit rate that the banks are using, it's actually been raised just to zero. So when you think about the uh, enemy on inflation at one side growing at 8.6 and they've raised an interest rate from somewhere between zero and half a percent, is that really going to help them? The other thing Christine Lagarde did last night was come out and tell people that they're going to continue this bond purchasing program. It's called the TPI. And we're going to see if that's really going to end up being quantitative easing, a form of bond purchasing, which is only going to put more pressure onto inflation. So we've got that happening in Europe. But on the other side of the equation in the US, next week we're going to have a look at the forecast for their GDP. Now, the reason it's important is because they had the first uh, quarter of negative uh, growth. And if they get two quarters of negative growth, the forecast is two for a negative 1.6%, then they're in recession. So you've got the people kind of raising rates, but still not tightening and doing a lot of quantitative easing on one side. And on the other side, you've got a group that are in recession. So to talk about the trading opportunities on this euro against the US dollar is our own senior market strategist, Duncan Cooper. Hi, Duncan. Hi, Nathan. So I'm on the euro dollar weekly chart here. Of course, yesterday we had the ECB interest rate decision. Now, what I'm seeing on the weekly chart is we're, in, we're actually in a downtrend showing lower tops and bottoms. Sure. But this week we're having a week up. So my overall bias is still to the downside long term. Okay. But you know, we could be having one or two or three weeks up. Time will tell. And the key area that I'm watching is up here, 103.40. Well, we've broken below monthly support. That could now be resistance, and that could be where price comes up to form a lower top on the weekly chart. So I'm clearly watching 103.40. And if we go to the day chart, some other levels very close to it. Uh, 103.40 is the monthly level. Mm -hmm. 103.49 is the weekly level of broken support. And there's a daily broken level support here, 103.59. So that should be a strong area of resistance if we can get back up to that level. So I'm watching that level for a reversal. And to trade down from. To gotcha. trade down from it. Now, of course, price might not get there. And why I'm saying that is when we go to the four-hour chart, we're seeing an area of consolidation forming here. So if it's in consolidation, then, you know, you have to trade it like it's in consolidation. So... We may just hold in consolidation for a week or two here, maybe. Time will tell. And, you know, we can see last last night's price action was contained within the so consolidation. Was that, Duncan. that was the fight. Look at that. You know, there was the fight. Buyers, <laughs> were, buyers went up, sellers pushed it back down. And then by the end of the day, we were kind of in the, in the middle of the range. So nobody won. It was almost so, like a head and shoulder on either side of that. There was no that's right. Winner. You know, the, you could say there's a shoulder head shoulder but then there's a shoulder head shoulder so there's an in, inverse <laughs> inverse head and shoulders and a head and shoulder so there's definitely a fight going on i'm not sure who's winning at the moment and ultimately you know when you're in consolidation and there's a fight going on you have to look to trade down from resistance and and buy up from support thank you so much duncan good luck everybody have yourselves a great week traders